Hey everyone, Biskin and I are still testing patch 24.0 in the dev build due to the fact that the patch is coming soon to the live server. In the previous video we tested Genie Sultan with Night Statue. Well, in this video I decided to test Genie Ifrit by playing a lamp talent that changes every unit that is on a special lamp tile into Genie, which allows for easier control of Vortex activation, but also for definitely more stacks. We can move all unnecessary low scrappers to the lamp tile and tear them into Genie. This is an amazing tactic that you should definitely test out. Let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, enjoy watching. As some of you already knew, I recently received my content creator promo code, which you can use during your Rush Royale market purchases. It's a very simple thing to do if you need to buy gems, platinum or any pass, event passes as well. You can just buy platinum with which you can buy an event pass. You go to Rush Real Market, the link will also be in the description of the video along with my promo code. Select your desired item, enter your Rush Real ID, which you can find in the game in the settings tab. Enter the code MANTI as a secret code. Then you can add your nickname and message to me, which will also appear in my panel. Choose any form of payment and that's it. By using my code, I get 10% revenue from each purchase so I can continue to grow my channel, stream, account or do more giveaways for you. Thanks for using my code. Sultan game was still pretty impressive, you got only got unlucky with too many virtues, vi vi viruses. Uh, I, I think not. the viruses were not a problem, I think the problem was that you at some point you get stuck with the low tier scrappers and if you don't really want to merge them, you have to wait for the cooldown and that can be troublesome sometimes. No double tiles, reset, ketamine says. <laughs> but if you change the scrapper talent, the one where every match gives you a scrapper. Uh, it could be good, but the merging on tiles would be much harder in my opinion. But it could work. Genie want your mergers or Genie you want your mergers to give different units? Ah uh, true, yeah. The Genie Harlequin and Summoner stacks are easy. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, uh, as soon as this game is over. Mm -hmm. 
I think with Thump you can turn your low tier scrubbers into genies. That can be extremely good. Uh, yeah. Even a high tier second scrapper into Genie if you have some tier 3 for the magic to throw him on the lamp. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. Looking promising. Yeah, same here. Oh shit, I'm not tested, but I can do that. Just not hitting that one. We're pretty close. I'm gonna scrap away some more because I want these genies as high tier as possible.
Things are looking really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. What was the damage? 100 billion? The last GD game? Yeah, it was like 99, yeah. I can't even see the boss hole before you kill. Yep. Sick. Looking really good. I basically play on, on three tiles. So you have vortex and bosses. Uh, honestly, I think I will have have it all the time. No, because what I do is just uh, uh, use the ability right before the boss. So I don't really have to do much more than that. I mean, fists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fists. So I just basically activate it right before the bosses. If I click right now once, and then this turns into genie, I eat it. Oh, I sh shouldn't eat it. Uh, well, it's whatever. And then I do this. I put the scrapper over there, and I have have it for, for the bosses again. That's the whole cycle. Problem might be uh, the negative effects if counter spells doesn't work. Might be problematic. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, 
Okay. Yeah. I have to build that genie again. I kind of felt a little bit weak. That wasn't even like 